What is up guys, it's Chu here, bringing you another review on Walking Dead. It is finally time that we talk about this great series, and as I already said the other day before, it is back. And honestly, I gotta say, the way this series starts is a very, very different. We start in space, of all things, and it honestly didn't even feel like a season premiere, I will say that. But one of the things that I really enjoyed about this episode, in the very beginning especially, was the fact that we had them in this formation that we had never seen before. we seen it in the trailers, and it was something that wasn't very much, very explained. And so now that we're seeing it now, you know, it's all through training, of course. But the formation and all of that was something that I truly enjoyed seeing, because it was something, like I said, something new. And the way that they were going about this and different strategies, I thought that was something very cool, very unique. And so, you know, and, and also in comparison to the to the comics, we see how it was and like how they did these like shields. I think that's a very practical thing. They may have actually taken this from the junkyard people. So it could have been an idea, you know. But as we go on in the episode, we start to see that a lot of things have changed you know obviously we've already passed the time skip many years have passed uh one of the things that real really stands out is aaron's personality change we see that he actually seems to be i guess more uh i don't want to say anti-hero or anything he's definitely not the same after the death of eric and the death of jesus who he has come to find, fall in love with after obviously some time but after the discovery of the mask from one of the whispers they are all on high alert and he is especially one of the first people to react to this you know he knows that this is not to be taken lightly we know that the last time that they saw them things did not go well uh, they had lost many people due to this but uh, we hope to see that now they don't lose as many people as they did that last time um one other thing that also stood out in this episode was daryl i want to say that daryl has become a person that has opened up a little bit more we saw that a lot especially last season with henry and we saw that with uh, lydia both of them being people that he kind of took care of and mentored and uh, also with connie uh, people are starting to you know ship them together uh he's starting to even take initiative in uh, sign language was which is something cool on daryl's part you know he really wants to i guess be able to communicate with others uh another sad part is that connie's friend which his name i can't remember right now honestly and i feel bad for not knowing is starting to go deaf so that's something that i feel like is a early sign of her possibly dying in the maybe mid-season finale that's possibly what will happen uh and Sadiq I think Sadiq the whole triangle of love there with uh Rosita Father Gabriel and uh, Eugene like it's all weird uh, it's kind of strange on how they are working together but Sadiq especially having to remember all of what was happening uh, during that uh, horrible night and you know it helps us get a better understanding of what sadiq has been going through since that day and of course it's never been easy with someone that has all that ptsd but we also get to see lydia struggling and feeling really like an outcast not knowing what the, what her role is anymore i suppose you could say and her relating to Negan uh, Negan himself says you know you, you gotta be you know keeping your head up something's going on and he even talks to Gabriel and telling him you know the best thing you can do right now is to tell your people that everything's okay that even though you're on an alert that we can still keep them under wraps and I feel like that's something that he'll honestly take into account and uh, hopefully we'll see maybe them you know trying to calm down the people uh, one of the also things that really stood on this episode was michonne her leadership honestly is going to be missed in the future 
Uh, we see that she's actually hearing the story from um, Judith about her father, uh, obviously her father, which is uh, Rick and the brave man. We see that RJ has grown. It's gone. It's been a few, uh, I guess, a few years, a few months or whatever. And then we get to see her, you know, getting a little bit emotional about that. So it's really, you know, a sucky thing that we get to hear about Rick in this episode. Even Maggie was mentioned in this episode. And, um, uh, them working together to trying to get through the the satellite that came down crashing so i i love that you know how they took care of the walkers their teamwork was phenomenal there and then at the very end where we get to see alpha showing up so uh it is gonna be a great season i'm really looking forward to it let me know what you guys think and as always stay safe and i'll catch you later Thank mm -hmm. you.